Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to the 45th Pi Game tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be we're we're going back to our original Snake script, and we're going to convert this script to work with our new idea. So our new idea is we're going to make a, a bit of a tanks game. Um, so instead of if we started totally from a clean slate, we would probably um, waste like the next five to ten videos just rewriting a lot of the code that we already wrote. So that's kind of silly. So I don't want to do that. And so basically we're going to go through this script and we're going to convert it and then take the things out that we don't need anymore and then we're going to build it up. So we want to keep sort of the same frame. So you know uh, the pause menu can pretty much stay a pause menu. Um, the game intro ish can stay. We're going to work on that. Uh, we're going to make a, a bit better of an intro. The game loop, a lot of stuff needs to go, but for the most part, we're going to have the same sort of thing. You know, you've got a game over versus a game exit, all of that, and so on. So yes, a lot of stuff will be deleted, but a lot of stuff's going to remain. So it's just kind of silly to start over. So to start, first of all, our game is not Slither anymore. It's going to be um, Tanks for now. Um, we don't... We don't have any images or anything, so for now, I'm just going to comment out these the icon and stuff because later on we might find that we want to add an icon or something like that so we can make the new image and just load up the image. Um, the colors will remain. Uh, we don't really need to get rid of those. Uh, these images here, these are basically our sprites, right? So we'll just comment those out. It's totally conceivable that we're going to use a sprite later on, so why delete it? Um, we don't need a direction. That's not really how this is going to work anymore. And then score. We'll probably have a score. It's just right now. Um, actually, we'll just we can actually leave this. We'll leave this whole score thing here uh, up. We don't even need to comment that out because it's not going to run otherwise. So we get rid of score. Um, we have absolutely no need for snake function. So we'll delete our snake function. Before I delete this and continue on, I do suggest you have an, another copy of this game uh, just in case you ever want to reference it again. Um, so make sure you're doing this like a new script because now we're going to build on this script. So anyway, delete that. Text objects, message to screen. We're going to be doing that in any game. So leave that. Pause menu. Uh, we'll leave that as well. I don't think we have anything snake specific in there. Keep scrolling down to game intro now. Um, the game intro now is just going to be slightly different. We're going to we're going to completely change the game intro anyway. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and do uh, welcome to tanks. Um, and let me see here. Um, yeah. Okay. So now welcome to tanks, and then we're going to rewrite this sentence here. I think we'll end up using probably all of these. Um, the objective is to shoot and destroy. Uh, then this one, the more apples you get. No. <laughs> uh, shoot and destroy. Oh, actually, shoot and destroy the enemy tank before they destroy you. Period. Um, the more enemies you destroy the harder they get period and then finally we'll leave press C to play all that stuff um, for now okay so then it runs game over and then we start to define the game loop so basically our game loop uh, we'll leave the frames per second we'll leave game over and all that but block size lead exchange all that stuff BAM gone all this gone so basically the only thing that's going to remain is game exit game over frames per second and then now it's asking why not game exit so we scroll down and basically all this stuff can remain this is this is basically while not game exit we're checking for quit events so and a play event so play quit quit all that so we'll leave that stuff there um, coming down this whole function here uh, we are going to let's see we still want to leave um, the quit event no problem there um, key left we're gonna make a tank so our tank is quite possibly going to go left or right right 
So for now, we definitely want to leave that there, and we'll just say pass. So in programming, if you're not familiar, pass is just something that we can just throw in there. It doesn't do anything, but if we don't put anything under this if statement, we're going to get an error. But if we put pass, nothing happens, it just goes on, but um, we're just kind of using it as a placeholder. So right, again, this tank might go left or right, so we'll pass up, down. My intention is to use up and down to move the tanks like turret up and down. So again, pass, and then down, um, same thing as before, basically pass. Pause, we'll still pause, that's no problem. And then we have a lot of this game logic, remember that, that was used in Snake? We don't use that, need that game logic anymore, so we're just going to come all the way down here. So basically from if lead x, blah, 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 that whole if statement, check for crossovers, all the way down to just before game display dot fill, delete. Then we have game display dot white, and then we need basically nothing all the way till update. So game display dot blit all the way down to the update right there, delete. And whoops, oh dear. <laughs> Just by fill white, close that off. Uh, up, up, Oops. empty parameters. And that's it. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do now is, looks like I shifted this a little bit. What we're going to go ahead and do now is run this and make sure that we're not throwing any errors and then we'll be ready to progress. So save and run that. And welcome to tanks. C to play, pause, pause, P to pause, Q to quit. Let's play. Empty screen, that's totally fine. Um, we'll make sure that we can still exit. We sure can. And then one last thing I want to check. Uh, C to play, P to pause, and Q to quit. Okay, so everything appears to be working. And now we're ready to put in our new game here uh, and make the various changes that we want to make. So hopefully that was uh, good enough for you guys and you got everything uh, deleted that we need. I just thought, again, it's kind of silly to uh, rewrite a lot of this stuff because we're going to be using basically the same kind of logic um, for that part anyways. There are some things we're going to change, though. We're going to definitely change our game intro. Um, I don't like the hard, you know, press C to play, you know, that kind of junk. That's kind of lame. I want to have, like, buttons and stuff like that. So anyway, that's what you guys have to look forward to. Uh, hopefully you're all caught up at this point. Stay tuned to the next video, and thanks for watching.